And the verdict, of course, comes from customers who have relied on aid during critical times. Let's find out how aid has transformed the way doctor's appointments are booked from actual users. And this is Joanna, and I understand you're a very happy customer yes. of our friends from Aid. So tell me, how did you first find out about Aid? Well, actually, I was a member of Consulta MD okay. uh, at Globe. Okay. Then Consulta MD referred me that there is a medical app for um, specialists that I can request, and then they can go to my house. Also, so, you, you, it was really from the from Consulta that you Consulta found out MD, yeah. about them as well. Yes. And why did you want them? Why did you need somebody to go to your house? What was the requirement? You were very busy. You couldn't. You couldn't get out. Yes, actually, as a businesswoman, so I have to maximize my time. Mm -hmm. So I do everything. The first time I requested for um, a family doctor. A family doctor. Yes. Okay. Nice. And then you don't you didn't mind paying the premium for the doctor to come over to the house. Yes. That was okay along with you. It's okay. And I understand you also second time used it again. Yes. And um, you were very happy with the second service as well? Of course. Oh. The second time I use it, I use the app. You used directly yes, to the app? Yes, it was actually app. very easy to use. So when I booked an app and requested for an ENT doctor and then they called me right away and I was scheduled the next day. So great, so there's, there's ease of use also as well for the app. Yes. And uh, would you recommend the app to other people now? Of course I will. I actually did oh, okay. to my friends. <laughs> so great. even my friends when they saw it uh, in my house, they said, oh, who is, who is she? She's a doctor. Oh. There's, the doctor can go here, yes, so I recommend it to well, That's them. great, so there's ease of use and there's also, you don't mind the premium that you pay because the service is yes, actually very excellent. Yes, it's actually worth it. And we're back with Paolo Bogayo, who is a co-founder of AID. And I guess the most important question here, of course, is, are you guys making money? But, but, Paolo, before that question is answered, Let's just go back a bit more into the business model that you guys have for aid. So basically, yeah. you're sort of like, in my head, you are the Uber for home care. Right, okay. right. And so the model basically is that, uh, are you making a, uh, a commission or a flat fee based right. on the number of people? Can you tell us a bit more about the model? So it's a, uh, we're a two-sided marketplace. Mm -hmm. So we have the supply and we have the demand. Uh, we get a commission or a percent from the transaction. So technically, that's a short of the business model. Um, now, at the beginning when we started this, we were mm -hmm. thinking, which one should we start? Should we start getting the supply first? Mm -hmm. Or should we start getting the demand first? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we ended up, it just happened that the supply for medical professionals started gaining ground. Okay. And the traction in that side was, was, was great for us. Mm -hmm. Now, where we are today is that we're trying to increase the demand. Since we have the supply already, we want the demand there. Okay. So our medical professionals or other services will be happy. I guess also another part of how we, how we uh, earn from this is that these medical professionals pay a membership fee okay. to be part of the aid platform. Okay. Is it a subscription fee or, a, or is it a one-time fee? It's a subscription fee. Okay. And uh, the, I guess the most important part is for them to renew. If you go to a clinic, you have to factor in your your commute expense. If mm -hmm. let's say you take an Uber to the clinic, you'll probably spend like 100, 150. Okay. That's one. Also, you're probably mm -hmm. spending the time while waiting for your physician to actually attend to you. Okay. Now this one, the doctors actually built that in already. Okay. Uh, so if I were to answer that, I would say same. If not, even better, because you're able to do other things in the house while waiting for them to come. In other words, all the economic costs are also built into the exactly. model that you guys have over right. here. Right, right. Uh, and I, as I'm looking at the model as well, I'm, I'm thinking like for some of us, like I have my own, I have my own HMO, right. um, I have my own, um, let's say that, credit card system. How about these other payment plans? Are you able to bring in HMOs ready into the business model? Are you able also to bring in, let's say, uh, credit cards and other modes of payment? Because right. right now, I understand it's just cash, right? That's correct. Um, for the HMO, we're still working on that. Uh, so today, it's not yet available. For credit card, we're looking at next year. You could actually pay for those services through card. We're looking at PayPal also on uh, those trans transactions. But right now, the payment gateway is cash. Cash. Right, now it's cash. Now, um, moving ahead, I mean, this is a really great business what you're doing, but it's not wholly original in the sense that other people might, you know, if you have a good idea, other people might have had the same good right. idea as well. Right, right. And in the country, people are also trying to establish similar setups. Right. So, what do you think is your closest competitor when it comes to aid? I would say OLX. Mm -hmm. We uh, are Facebook groups. But none exists similar to us yet. Okay, at least um, here in the, in, the, in the Philippines. At least I could say that we're the first in the country. Uh, but that doesn't mean good. It, it just means that 
we're able to start the traction, but we have to make ourselves even better as we I go see, along. I see, I see. Because again, uh, like what you said, you know, somebody can just try to do it. Mm -hmm. So what, I guess our competitive advantage, okay. I could say, is that we vet our medical professionals. We partner with the, one of the, the, the best clinics around. We partner with the uh, medicine delivery. And so we tried to get them with us at, as early as today. We were able to close a seed round early this year. Uh, it's about oh, almost $400,000. Okay. Um, but again, we're looking at raising funds again as, as we go along. Um, probably we could call it a pre-Series A. Okay. Uh, or, you know, whatever round that is later on. And how are you guys going through the process of actually approaching the investors? We start with angel investors. Okay. Um, friends, family. Uh, we, we sell the idea to them. We sell ourselves to them. And we tell them, you know, look, we're 100% committed on this. Okay. And we quit our jobs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For us. Okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, we sell the business model. We sell the idea. And, uh, again, it's trying to get their trust also. So, we, may, we make sure there's clean communication with all our investors. Okay. And with this one, how do you plan to actually scale this business? So, right now, you've got Metro Manila. How do you plan to scale? By increasing the number of uh, medical uh, providers or also by increasing the geography, right. bringing it abroad? What are your plans? Well, today we, we're focusing on Metro Manila. We want to perfect the business model here. Okay. And then once we get that right, we bring it down to Visayas, we bring it down to Mindanao. Today, we're lucky that we get bookings in those areas. Okay. Uh, so, so it shows that there's a demand it's already. It's demand. Correct. Okay. So now we, got, we have to work on the supply. Making sure that there's doctors in that area, doctors in the south area, and then trying to connect them again. So, but, you know, when we get these requests, even in those areas, we try. We really try to service them and try to check with our rosters. Maybe we have a doctor in, in Cebu. Um, but, you know, in terms of marketing, yes, we're focused here in Metro Manila. And five years down the road, where do you guys see it? Do you plan to go? IPO, sell it to a bigger investor. What do you guys plan to do with that uh, A? Well, I guess the big dream of me and my partners is that we're able to take this not just nationwide, but regional. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our big dream. Of course, an IPO or a good uh, merger and acquisition down the road wouldn't, wouldn't help, right? It would be very exciting for us. But that's right. Yeah. And I guess the bigger question right now, after being in operation since October last year, have you conceptualized this in April last year? Are you guys making money? I could say we haven't broken even. Okay. But uh, revenue is coming in. Revenue is coming in. Coming in. And, and given how, how you, you see the cash flows, you know your OPEX, you know your CAPEX, how soon do you think you'll be making money? Uh, from starting today, probably another two to three years. Two to three years. To break even. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wish you luck because I know it's like to be an entrepreneur. Thank you. Day job, going Thank doing you. this, and then of course going to the rounds. It's a great experience. It's a harrowing experience at the same time. But I'm glad because you've got some doctors on call who might need, who you might need some help from. Thank you. Yeah. As you put yeah. up this business. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. guys, congratulations. Thanks so much. To the guys, congratulations. Thanks so much. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. When your body says something is wrong, you need to listen and act on it. And with AID, you get the expert medical treatment you need anytime and anywhere without having to wait in hospital line. Because with your health, that is something you can put on hold. I'm RJ Ledesma. Join me again for another Bright Idea.